Hi guys, welcome to Prague ICU. Today we are going to show you how to check and interrogate a Medtronic implantable device. In our case, it will be a dual chamber defibrillator. Start interrogation by placing programming head over the device. After establishing connection, you'll be able to see various basic data on the home screen. Assess the patient's rhythm at the top of the screen in a live EGM display. In this patient, you can see atrial pacing with AP marker with intrinsic conduction to ventricles, VS, ventricle sensing marker. In the left upper part of the screen, you can see remaining device longevity, estimating battery life for 9.2 years. Click on double arrow to see more details about battery longevity. Then you can print measure data by clicking on a print button in the lower right part of the screen. In the middle of the home screen, you can assess the sensing and pacing statistics. By clicking on the params icon on the right side of the screen, you can appreciate all device settings. In a mode section, you can choose between different operating modes. This device is set to AAI DDD, which is preferable for atrial pacing, with backup ventricle pacing if needed. Mode switch function is nominally switched on. Mode switch is a rate control feature designed to prevent the tracking of paroxysmal atrial tachycardias. This is performed by placing the device in DDIR mode until the episode is over, preventing a rapid ventricle paced rate in response to the rapid atrial rate. In the lower rate section, you can set pacing rate between 30 to 150 beats per minute. Lower programmed rate is a rate at which a pacemaker will pace the heart in the absence of intrinsic cardiac activity. Nominally is set up at 60 beats per minute. In rates 85 beats per minute and higher, there is crossed circle symbol. You cannot set this rate because of conflict with other set functions of the device. In this scenario, it is because of the active function of overdrive pacing rate of 80 beats per minute after shock therapy. Upper track rate is a function that allows setting how fast will device pace to ventricle according to intrinsic atrial rate without intrinsic conduction to ventricles. In this device, you can set the range between 80 up to 175 beats per minute. There is also a limitation in rates about 145 beats per minute with cross circle symbols. By clicking on a rate with this symbol, Another cross-circle symbol will appear in the lower part of the screen. By clicking on this symbol, appropriate reasons will disclose. In our case, there is a conflict with the VT monitor interval. Upper sensor rate is the fastest rate at which the heart will be paced in response to signals from the rate response sensor. Nominally, it's set up to 130 beats per minute. In our case, it's slightly lower, 120 per minute. In the right upper part of the screen, you can set up atrial and ventricle sensitivity, which is programmable in a range between 0.15 up to 0.4 in atrium and 0.15 to 1.2 in ventricle. Lower numbers means higher sensitivity for channel to recognize EGM signal. Higher numbers correspond to lower sensitivity. In the detection area, you can set detection criteria for rates of ventricle tachycardias. Basically, it's a setting for two zones, one for VT and one for VF. If you click on therapies next to each zone, you can see deep settings for specific detection zones, such as ATPs or shock energy. In detection section, you can see general settings of detection zones and discrimination criteria.
In the ATAF section, you can find settings for ATUL Intel Rate, which cooperates with mode switch functions. In the pacing section, you can observe general settings for bradytherapy functions of an ICD device. To check a history of arrhythmias, click on Data icon and choose Clinical Diagnostics, then Arrhythmia Episodes and Open Data. Subsequently, a new window with arrhythmia episodes will appear. In this window, you can see recorded episodes with different types of arrhythmias, if there are any. In this scenario, you can see four episodes detected by the device as an ATAF with date, time and duration. By clicking on the EGM node, for each episode you can assess each arrhythmia in detail. Then you can print out selected episodes. For lead measurements, go to Test button and choose Type of measurements. Start with Lead Impedance. In the Lead Impedance window, click on Start measurements and wait for measure values. For Sensing measurements, go back to Test and choose Sensing. Change lower rate to 30 beats per minute and click to Start measurement. Measure values will appear in the left lower part of the screen. For threshold measurements, go to Test and Pacing Threshold. Choose which chamber you want to test. For a threshold, choose Pacing Mode, AAI or DDD mode in a dependent patient. Then select Sufficient Amplitude and press and hold Test button. In the upper part of screen, observe a pacing test and release button when you see no capture in the atrium. Then choose and save proper measured value. For threshold test in a ventricle, change chamber to RV, pacing mode to VVI and repeat the same operation as in atrium test. In the upper part of the screen, observe the pacing test and release button when you see no capture in ventricle. Then choose and save proper measure value. After device check is complete, check the printout record from a session by clicking on reports icon. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for new educational videos from Prague ICU.